Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we're answering the question, why do sprouts make you fart? Every Christmas, one vegetable divides opinion, Brussels sprouts. Some of us love them, some of us hate them, but eating them can have some embarrassing consequences. Sprouts aren't the only thing that causes gas to build up in our intestines. Baked beans are notorious in this department too. But what actually is flatulence? Well, some of it is caused by swallowed air. We all swallow air when we eat and drink, but the worst offenders are gum chewers. Some of this swallowed air comes back up again as a burp, but any that doesn't can pass through the digestive tract and emerge again at the other end in the usual tuneful fashion. But most of the gas that ends up as flatulence is actually formed fresh inside our intestines by the colonies of bacteria that live there as a normal part of their microbial metabolism. They pump out variable volumes of nitrogen, methane, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. These are thankfully all odourless and largely harmless gases, although hydrogen and methane are quite combustible, as some party pranksters armed with a lighter and a convenient episode of wind will attest to. Unfortunately, some of the other gaseous products of bacterial digestion are much less easy on the olfactory system. Hydrogen sulphide reeks of rotten eggs and methyl mercaptan, which stinks of mouldy cabbages, is the same stuff that's deployed by skunks as part of their repellent arsenal. But why are some foods far more fartogenic than others? And why does the bouquet of some airborne toxic events place them on the cusp of being classified as chemical weapons? As a rule, foods that trigger flatulence are those that can't be completely broken down in the stomach or small intestine. This means that partially digested foodstuffs then make their way into the colon where they can feed a large bowel bacterial banquet with predictable odiferous effects. And this is where the sprouts come in. Sprouts, along with onions, beans and dairy products, are hard to digest in the stomach and small intestine because our bodies can't produce the enzymes needed to break down some of the chemical components they contain. The main culprit in sprouts is a complex sugar called raffinose, which is also found in cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, and in fact all members of the brassica family of vegetables. Raffinose is broken down by an enzyme called alpha-galactosidase, but as we don't make this enzyme in our guts, the raffinose, together with other complex sugars like the inulin, which is present in beans, arrive in the large intestine. Some of the bowel bacteria are armed with the necessary chemical knives and forks to break these sugars down, but in the process they churn out hydrogen, methane and carbon dioxide. OK, so that's why sprouts make you produce gas, but why the particularly pungent smell that you often get as an unwelcome addition to the Christmas table? Well, one thing that all brassicas also have in common is that they're full of sulphur-containing defensive chemicals. They're there to deter animals from feeding on their leaves and are also what cause the strong and sometimes bitter flavours of these vegetables that put some people off eating them altogether. And it's these sulphur-containing chemicals that the bacteria turn into hydrogen sulphide and methyl mercaptan. Added in small amounts to the bulky sugar fueled fart gas already being produced, these gases are offenders that can clear a room in seconds. But is there a way of solving the problem? apart from avoiding sprouts in the first place, of course. Unfortunately, some people are just more prone to producing their own airborne toxic events owing to the unique community of bacteria with which they're colonised. Some guts are just more fart-friendly, you could say. And if this is the case for you, then perhaps Buck Weimer of Pueblo, Colorado can help. He won an Ig Nobel Prize in 2001 for his invention of underwear that contains a removable filter to help soak up any nasty niffs. For those who don't like the sound of charcoal-stuffed pants, there are some enzyme-containing dietary supplements that can help break down the complex sugars, reducing the personal fart risk. But fart experts agree there is no surefire way to prevent those Brussels sprouts sounding a bum note on Boxing Day. Merry Christmas. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye.